Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going for the latest breaking news in the NFL. Before we get started, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you're new around here, please comment your thoughts on my analysis and my channel in today's comment section down below. Really appreciate that too. And with that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So big news coming out of Baltimore. Um, this is this is massive stuff here. I mean, it's seemingly every, every single every single week out of Baltimore, it's it's more injuries now, and and it looks like uh, Gus Edwards is going to be out for the season with a knee injury, uh, potentially at least, um, or you know, a, a significant knee injury, and and that's 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 pretty scary. Um, we don't know if it's season ending, uh, but it looks like Marcus Peters and Gus Edwards uh, sustained potentially significant knee injuries on back-to-back -back plays, according to Mike Garofolo, uh, and the team is having tests done on both of those players. Um, this is this is this is really bad. It's it's not good. Um, if these are, are are lasting, and you know, whenever I see significant knee injury, that that scares me, and that says out for the season. Somehow, the Ravens have been able to lose J.K. Dobbins, tight uh, Gus Edwards now. Um, as well as Justice Hill. And remember, they did bring in Le'Veon Bell. And I think Le'Veon Bell will see some time now. Um, he'll probably be moved up from the practice squad. But this is this is really bad. This is really bad for a Ravens offense that really relies on the run game. And now they've got Tyson Williams as probably the starter, um, much more of a pass-oriented ca uh, pass catcher. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty solid. I mean, if, if, if you're in a fantasy league, I would pick him up definitely. Um, Gus Edwards, he, I mean, if, he, if he's out for a significant time, um, that's that's not that's not good whatsoever. I already dropped him in my league. Um, am I regretting that at this point? Not realizing the severity of the injury a little bit, um, but whenever I see significant knee injury, I, I really get scared. So you know, Tyson Williams is the guy to have in the Ravens' backfield. I don't think a guy like Le'Veon Bell is a bad guy to have too. I think he can put up some numbers. He didn't look great for the Chiefs last year, uh, but really for fantasy perspectives, Tyson Williams is going to be the guy. Um, I think Le'Veon Bell is worth a shot in some bigger leagues, but Gus Edwards, losing Gus Edwards is really tough after, I mean, this is a guy that for the past three seasons has rushed for over 700 yards, has 10 touchdowns in his career, um, six last year. So he's a productive player. And you just lost your two best running backs in a run-heavy offense. Wow, that's really tough. Defense-wise for me, um, they lost their best outside corner, Marlon Humphrey predominantly, um, I, I like him more as a slot corner. He's an elite corner, don't get me wrong. Uh, but now, I mean, you're looking at uh, Tavon Young, who hasn't been who hasn't been insanely healthy in the past few years either. Uh, you're looking at guys uh, like Anthony Everett. Um, you're looking at Jimmy Smith. How is he going to respond from injury? He's right now questionable. Um, this, and especially after they 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 traded away, um, you know, uh, Sean Wade just a little bit ago. Uh, to the Patriots. So, I mean, this is a cornerback room that's now depleted if, if, if Marcus Peters is out for any time. As I said, whenever I see injury and I see knee, I get really scared. Um, so with that said, I think that uh, Baltimore's going to have to, Baltimore's going to have to figure something out. They're always a team that's in contention. They're always a team that's competing and contending with things. Um, but, you know, this is going to be tough, especially with a defense that lost a lot of good pass rushers this offseason, like Matt Judon. Um, how can the secondary, you know, uh, pick up from losing Marcus Peters potentially for some time? And then obviously an offense that's super run heavy. How can it bounce back um, after you're not having J.K. Dobbins, not having Justice Hill or Gus Edwards, um, at least starting the season? So really tough break for the, for the Ravens as they continue to struggle with injury. Um, I think it's going to be a big storyline uh, for the season for them. How can they respond? How can Lamar Jackson lead an offense that's predominantly run heavy without a true RB1 now um, and, and, you know, it, how 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 is that going to go? It's going to be really interesting in Baltimore, but this is this is just a terrible situation in Baltimore right now. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.